Jacob deGrom's recent blockbuster deal with the Texas Rangers raised eyebrows in the baseball world. At 34, this two-time Cy Young Award winner inked a mammoth five-year, $185 million contract, solidifying his status as one of the game's premier talents. However, with the possibility of his return to the majors delayed until 2025 due to an arm injury, questions are already beginning to swirl about the impact on his already complex Hall of Fame journey. Only a few baseball fans will doubt this guy's trademark brilliance. His electrifying talents are there for everyone to see. But then while DeGrom's peak performance ranks among the greatest in MLB history, his interrupted success clouds his future and ultimately his legacy. And the big question is, has DeGrom done enough in his career to justify an entry into Cooperstown? Well, to adequately answer that question, you'll first need to relive some of this superstar's greatest moments on the diamond. Jacob DeGrom was born on June 19, 1988 in the sun-soaked city of Deland, Florida. Growing up, he honed his athletic prowess at Calvary Christian Academy in Ormond Beach. In his senior year, DeGrom's star shone brightly, earning accolades as the District 9 Class 1A Player of the Year in basketball. His abilities on the baseball field didn't go unnoticed either, as he earned a spot on the All-Florida second team. Despite his achievements, though, the Major League Draft passed him by after high school. But undeterred, DeGrom set his sights on Stetson University. Initially recruited as a shortstop, fate would soon intervene when DeGrom made his pitching debut in May 2009. With a fastball in his arsenal and newfound skills in pitching, DeGrom caught the eye of scouts during his tenure at Stetson. His transition from reliever to starter was seamless, cementing his status as one of the team's top pitchers. During a memorable matchup against Chris Sale of Florida Gulf Coast University, DeGrom made a lasting impression, even belting out his only home run of the season. Despite facing tough competition, he made 12 starts for the Hatters, boasting a 4-5 record and a 4.48 earned run average. In the 2010 Major League Baseball draft, the New York Mets took a chance on Jacob deGrom, selecting him as a pitcher in the ninth round with the 272nd overall pick. His journey with the Mets hit a snag early on, when he was assigned to the Kingsport Mets in the rookie-level Appalachian League. Unfortunately, his promising start was cut short by a diagnosis of a partial tear in the UCL of his pitching elbow. And after four months of rehabilitation efforts, DeGrom underwent a Tommy John surgery in October, sidelining him for the entire 2011 season. As he worked his way back to form, DeGrom toiled in the lower ranks of the Mets minor league system. In 2012, he impressed with the Savannah Sand Nats and the St. Lucie Mets, showcasing a stellar 2.43 ERA over 19 games. By 2013, DeGrom's star was on the rise. Starting with St. Lucie, he quickly climbed the ranks to join the Binghamton Mets and eventually the Las Vegas 51s. And despite some setbacks, including a broken finger, DeGrom's talent was undeniable. His hard work paid off when the Mets added him to their 40-man roster in November 2013, protecting him from the Rule 5 draft. While here, this star continued to refine his skills during the offseason, incorporating a curveball into his repertoire. When the 2014 season rolled around, DeGrom was ready to shine. Starting with the Las Vegas 51s, he racked up an impressive 4-0 record with a 2.58 earned run average in his first seven starts, signaling the beginning of what would become a remarkable career in the majors. This superstar's journey into Major League Baseball with the New York Mets began with a remarkable debut on May 15, 2014 against the New York Yankees. And despite the Mets' defeat, DeGrom's stellar performance caught the attention of fans and critics alike. In his first outing, he pitched seven innings, surrendering just one run while striking out six batters. DeGrom's early performances in the majors showcased his potential, highlighted by four quality starts in his first four outings, even though victories eluded him during this stretch. However, on July 8, 2014, he delivered a masterful performance, pitching seven scoreless innings and striking out 11 batters, while also clinching the Mets' 4,000th franchise victory. Throughout his rookie season, this rising star continued to impress, earning recognition as the NL Rookie of the Month for July. Plus, his standout performances earned him the 2014 Sporting News NL Rookie of the Year Award, making him the first Met to receive this honor since Dwight Gooden in 1984. In the following season, DeGrom's star continued to rise. He started strong, boasting an 8-6 record with a 2.30 ERA by the end of June. Also selected to the NL roster for the 2015 MLB All-Star Game, DeGrom made history during the event by striking out the opposing side on just 10 pitches. 
Moreover, his contributions throughout the season earned him a spot in the postseason, where he showcased his skill in pivotal games, including a record-tying performance with 13 strikeouts in a single postseason game. DeGrom's consistency and skill were further exemplified in subsequent seasons, and despite facing challenges such as injuries and contractual negotiations, he remained a dominant force on the mound. In 2018, he achieved a remarkable 1.70 ERA, leading the majors and securing the NL Cy Young Award. His excellence continued into the 2019 season, where he secured his second consecutive Cy Young Award, solidifying his status as one of baseball's elite pitchers. DeGrom would go on to start a new tenure with the Texas Rangers, which began with pretty high expectations after he signed a very lucrative five-year, $185 million contract on December 2, 2022. Sadly, though, his time on the mound for the Rangers was short-lived due to an unfortunate injury. In 2023, DeGrom made just six starts for Texas, but then he was able to showcase his usual dominance with a 2.67 ERA and an impressive 45 strikeouts in 30.1 innings pitched. Unfortunately, on June 6, 2023, the Rangers announced devastating news for both DeGrom and the team. He would require Tommy John surgery due to a torn ulnar collateral ligament in his right elbow. Of course, this announcement was a major hit and it marked a significant setback for DeGrom and the Rangers. Tommy John surgery typically requires an extensive rehabilitation process, often sidelining pitchers for more than a year as they recover and regain strength in their arm. And in DeGrom's case, this injury not only interrupted his season, but also raised concerns about his future performance and durability. Most significantly, it sets a new cloud of doubt over his Hall of Fame eligibility. No doubt about it, DeGrom has carved out a brief legendary career in Major League Baseball. But the billion-dollar question is, does his dominance on the field secure him a spot in the hallowed halls of Cooperstown? Now, let's break it down. He has some eye-popping stats, including a career ERA plus of 155, putting him in the company of elites in the game, alongside other greats like Mariano Rivera and Clayton Kershaw. Plus, DeGrom boasts the best strikeout-to-walk ratio in baseball history, showing pinpoint accuracy with every pitch. But here's the kicker. His career has been plagued by injuries, casting a shadow over his Hall of Fame dreams. With just 186.2 innings since 2021 and now facing Tommy John surgery, his longevity has been brought to question. And despite his exceptional performance when healthy, the relatively low number of career innings pitched and wins compared to other Hall of Fame pitchers could hinder his chances of induction. Thankfully, though, the modern era's emphasis on advanced statistics and a deeper understanding of player value might affect the traditional reliance on wins and innings pitched. Nonetheless, DeGrom's injury history and the uncertainty surrounding his future performance will undoubtedly be factors that Hall of Fame voters will consider. It's true that players like Justin Verlander have successfully returned from Tommy John surgery and continued to excel, and we can borrow from that to say DeGrom could potentially follow a similar trajectory. However, there are no guarantees in sports, and it's already very obvious that DeGrom's journey back to the mound will require significant effort and determination if he will succeed. Another factor against DeGrom's Hall of Fame prospects is that he's only started 215 career games. Plus, while individual wins may not define a pitcher's worth, his tally of just 84 victories definitely raises eyebrows. Sure, he's a strikeout master, racking up an impressive 1,652 career strikeouts. But with only 1,356 and a third innings pitched, we've just got to admit that it's a bit underwhelming. When it comes to the grand scheme of things, DeGrom ranks 113th in jaws among starting pitchers. Indeed, that puts him in the company of notable names like Ron Guidry and Cliff Lee, but to be honest, it's not quite Cooperstown material, at least from how many baseball lovers see it. But hey, let's not write this baseball virtuoso off just yet. After all, he's probably got plenty of baseball left in him. A triumphant return from surgery could bolster his resume, especially if he adds another Cy Young and leads the Rangers to a World Series. Whichever way you look at it though, the clock is ticking, and with every lost season, his margin for greatness shrinks. So, can DeGrom defy the odds and carve out a Hall of Fame legacy for himself? Well, only time will tell, or not. Now, what would make a man like DeGrom fail to enter the MLB Hall of Fame, you'd ask? Well, the answer lies mostly in his numbers. There's no doubt that he's one of the best out there, He's consistently been one of the most dominant pitchers in baseball during his career, known for his electric stuff, including a blazing fastball, devastating slider, and excellent command. He's won multiple Cy Young awards, indicating his status as one of the premier pitchers in the game today. 
Not only that, DeGrom's career statistics, including his earned run average, strikeouts, and opponent's batting average, stack up favorably against many Hall of Fame pitchers. His ability to consistently produce elite-level numbers over multiple seasons is a testament to his skill and talent. No doubt, his performances have had a significant impact on the teams he has played for and on the game of baseball as a whole. His dominance on the mound has often been a deciding factor in key games and playoff series, earning him the respect of teammates, opponents, and fans alike. In addition to his Cy Young Awards, DeGrom has received numerous other accolades, including all-star selections and recognition as the league's best pitcher by various baseball publications and organizations. Plus, beyond his on-field achievements, DeGrom's impact on the culture of baseball and his influence on younger generations of players may also be considered in evaluating his Hall of Fame candidacy. After all, they do matter, right? I mean, the legacies of baseball players in the community they play in is one crucial aspect that shouldn't be overlooked. So, what do you think? Is DeGrom an MLB Hall of Famer or just a regular, slightly above-average player who's going to pass by with time? Let us know in the comments.